Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Aldrazi deck and its pair dominance on MTGO. MTGO is where you can find the most competitive players. It's a very good uh, indicator of what decks are dominating at the time. So 44% of MTGO, and that's not a mistake, it's 44%, is Aldrazi. 19% is Affinity. And then the next four most popular decks Burn, Infect, Jun, Abs, and Company, they're all around 2.4%, 1.2%. Uh, this signals the biggest chains in modern, and it's a very bad chains. Uh, to be quite honest with you, you either play Adrazi or you lose. Some people will say, oh, what about this deck? What about that deck? It just doesn't matter. It is too much. You are not. You may be able to beat one or two Adrazi decks, but you're not going to be able to beat half the field playing Adrazi. Um, it's just too good. None of the decks makes any sense. I mean, you look at 44%, and then you compare it to something like Burn. I mean, 40 times as many, around 40 times as many players are playing Hadrazi than Burn. And remember, Burn did extremely well last year in Modern. It's one of the top decks, if not the top deck for 2015. Yeah, this is the future outside of a ban. Um, it is what we have to look I mean, I'm going to make Adrazi because I do want to play at high events. I do want to win. I have been playing some Burn. I have these decks made except for Jund. Absent Company is one of my favorite decks. But it just does not compete. Um, you cannot win. I mean, literally, you cannot win when half the people are playing a deck that's far superior. That can drop two Mimics. That can drop a on turn one. That can drop a not on turn two. can drop... You know, five five trample, five five haste. You know, difficult to remove creature. Um, it just isn't fair. It's not a fair deck, and this is what we have to show for it.